Hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome all back to Terraria where today we're probably going to mine some Hellstone, which is not a very interesting bit of activity, but it can get a little hectic downstairs. So, what is Hellstone? Well, it's an annoying bit of material that you just need, together with obsidian, in order to make Hellstone bars to make some of the strongest pre-hard mode equipment. Mostly melee stuff, but yeah. If you want to get hard mode stuff, you're gonna have to put a good leg for it. Or something like that. Uh, I've also been finicking with a bit of technology, so to speak. Um, by which I mean that I've built an... Oh, I'm choking for no reason. That's probably not a good thing. I don't know where that happens, but it just happens sometimes. You want some obsidian because you need it to mix with hellstone ore, which is gotten from the bottom of the sea. So anyway, hellstone, it's kind of annoying to dig because it leaves behind magma every time you chop at it. It's found in the underworld, which is already an unpleasant place to be. And you need quite a bit of it. You need like a whole metric fuck ton of that stuff. To get the good stuff at the very oh god, how did a slime spawn in there? There's absolutely no way you could have reasonably spawned in there because this area is walled off. Heck, so far nothing spawned in there. That old cubby hole of mine. Really, I don't need another one of those voodoo dolls, you know. Whatever, I'll just hold on to it then. So that stuff's Hellstone. You can't see it with the, um... Whatchamacallit, uh, potion. Spelunker. In case you're thinking about spelunking your way out of this one. No, it won't work. What you want to do with this stuff is you don't really want to look for it directly. You want to look for deposits, like this one. Which you can relatively easily mine. It takes quite a few strokes to get it out, but... It's worth it, trust me. You'll get a brand new pickaxe, a brand new hammocks, and a brand new pair of pants. And to the more observant of y'all, you may have noticed a slight change to my character. Specifically, that he's wearing something different today. I thought, how about I dress as something snappy today? And then my inner monologue said, yes, let's do that. Now, ash can be used to make iridescent brick, in case you like fancy bricks. Hellstone is, by the way, a way to um, generate lava or TNT-proof your house, so to speak. In case you don't like explosions blowing up your house. And I know plenty of people who do! You know, I don't think this is a house until I've blown it up. Don't you agree, Mr. Skeleton, who dropped a hook? I hate that when they drop hooks. After I have the hook, and I have the thing... Oh, these are demon darts. They're pretty fucking spiffing. They light up in all different colors, and it's pretty cool to look at. Which is why I use them to decorate my thingamajig. My demon altar. Because why not? It's gotta look spiffing. Spiffing is the best thing in the world. As you can see, Hellstone is of the green rarity, and thus is immune to lava. Which is a good thing, because it generates lava, so the chance would have existed that it would just destroy itself. This obsidian brick, you can make that with just two obsidian, or you can just mine it up here. You can also get Hellstone brick, can't get Hellstone walls, so don't even- Oh god, I forgot to bring my god! God, I need to get out of here. I just remembered something important that I should have remembered in time. Yeah, you can have this doll. I only need one. I have two of them. If that doesn't say something about the value of that thing, jeez, man. Now, there's a few things I just remembered I forgot. I forgot to bring my shadow key just in case. And my obsidian skull. Did I ever show you the loot? I don't think I did. I have plenty of obsidian for now. Um... Uh, the loot from the dungeon. I got uh, better guns. Fancy guns. 
Uh, another uh, one of these some stuff. I bought this thing. I got this cobalt shield. One defense. Um, normally I would always put this on because you know I thought defense was great, but no, it's not that great. So you really don't have to bring that along with you. Unless that really what tickles your fancy. Also got the blue moon, a pretty good one, by the way. Basically, it's another mace, like the uh, ball will hurt. But it glows. Look at that fancy glow. You're coming with me, sugar pie. God damn it. Why am I using that accent? I'm not from the south, neither are southerners. They're also above the equator. But then again, who decides what north and south in the vacuum of space? Ain't got no gravity there! Well, you do. You're actually gravitating towards everything everywhere. But it's just so tiny you don't notice. Because Newton says so. And if Newton says so, you bet your ass it's true. Because that Newton, from what I heard, he's a smart kind of fella. Smart kind of fella. Oh, yeah, he was. Well, he wasn't that smart. I mean, he did kind of... was kind of frivolously religious. Religious. I think he written plenty of books trying to explain science in a religious sense, which... kind of discredits the fact that he's such a smart, bright fella. Because he tried to defend a religion that can't be defended. On many grounds. It's like, yeah. So he written all that stuff, and yet you're perfectly convinced that this is how gravity works? You know, at some point, you're gonna have to draw a line, kiddo. It's like, no, 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 I can prove this. Like Einstein, I can disprove this. Did you? Well, I just heard that. I don't really know, but... I've always heard that story that Einstein's like, Ugh, I don't want an uncertainty principle, because that means that random chance really exists. Or something. I know what the uncertainty principle truly means, because I'm not sciencey enough, but... I do know it has to do with those quantum physics! And that ain't no fun place to be! Because last time I went to Quantum Physics Town, I ended up in Enron. Because Enron is a city composed of quantum physics. Why am I here and not in a... yeah... Good question. Well, I don't fight that much loot. I might as well just... Have a blast. Have a cup of tea, some chicken, some roast beef, a pizza. You know, the average thing. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you off my airlock, have I? Oh, it switches to the demon light for some reason. Which isn't all that bright, mind you. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. Oh god! I just put all my eggs in one basket. He missed, pal. Though I guess that thing was also hooked up to- Yeah, this is the one that's hooked up to the arrow device. God damn it. Haha. <laughs> chopper chopper. This is, by the way, a, a way to farm enemies, is to put down lava to such a degree that it won't destroy items and coins, but that it would still, you know, kill the guys. I hope they drop Demon Sight. I never never got too lucky with Demon Sight drops. Still didn't get around to refurbish this, but... I don't know, knockback isn't really the main draw of this weapon. So now I'm immune to this stuff, which is good. And I should switch these two around. How strong is this? 25? Wow. You kinda suck, Muramasa Marawusa. Kama 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 chameleon. Just look at that. Look at that speed, look at that! Ain't no man who can match up to that. Well, except I, of course. I am always better. Because I am an arrogant snob. Yay, I caught a coin. 
Never. I don't remember how far did I. I don't think I explored this far. Though I have to say, normally by now I found at least one other chest. Or maybe I was just spoiled in that one world. Did you know that lava slimes at some point used to drop lava? That sucked. It really, really did. It wrecked the entire appeal of this place. Real estate values went down, and ultimately they said, You know what, we'll do it well, a little bit. We'll make it a little bit more, uh, you know, appealing to move into the uh, uh, underground sections of the universe. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with the undead serpents later, because, you know... God damn it, what's that guy doing in lava? I hope his Mar the Mario cap doesn't burn up, because that would be sad. I don't know, I don't think the Demon Torch can be placed underwater, though, or used underwater. And if you want to go under the lava to get yourself some fancy dancy ores, here's a pro tip. There is a potion that makes you completely invulnerable to this stuff. So remember when I said I love the Dark Lands? Here you go. Here's all the motivation you ever need to get this thing and love it until death. Until the boss, at least. It's not good against bosses, it's good against enemies, but... It lacks any real punch to be useful against the Wall of Flesh. And considering you won't get it until after you've beaten Skeletron, yeah. It kind of loses a lot of its shine because you need to be that far in the game before you get it, and that's kind of eh. Excuse me. You know, I could do with another special guest, but... I don't know, I'll just get crumbs everywhere. It's not a good thing, you know. I don't, I don't want to get crumbs on my face and on my bed. Oh dear god! Did he just say bed? Yes, bed! Because I record from my bed. I don't know, I just... I get back bakes really fast because I don't, can't sit right in a fucking chair. Hey, there you go. Shadow chest. What's inside? What's inside? Only nobody knows! I think there's about four different items you can get from these. Hey, it's another lance, but it's a better one. By the way, I found a way to copy chests, and I'm gonna show that in a split slippity slick. Hey, another hell forge. Those are always nice to have a few extras of. But I found a very interesting glitch that permits you to make a lot of cash really fast. Like, oh, Lickety Split. Like, what is Lickety Split? Okay, this is this is kind of important, kiddos. Kids. Kids of all ages. This is Hellstone Brick. It hurts if you don't have the Obsidian Skull in your inventory. I mean, equipped. So you'll want to watch out, or your ass is going to turn to ashes. Like Ash Ketchum. Why do they call him Ash Ketchum? Like, why not Jack Ketchum? That would sound like a... Pretty cool guy. I'm Jack. Jack, catch them all. Gotta jack them all. Ah! Oh, I, I did not see that coming, but... <laughs> that totally went wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. What about John? Eh. I mean, they never said gotta ash them all, so that kind of loses itself in translation. I find it... Poor, you can't mine these walls. You can't. I mean, look, you mine them and they're like, poof, they're gone. But you can mine the Hellstone Brick. I think you can make it too. Oh, fun fact. Originally in the Hellstone Brick uh, formula, you needed a pickaxe. An iron pickaxe. I have no idea why. If you didn't have an iron pickaxe, you couldn't make Hellstone Brick. Iron pickaxes, mind you. So you were pretty much out of luck if you wanted to make a big structure. Because that's where all your Bloongemins went. All the balloon Germans went there. Like a large investment, but with zero to no payoff. Zero to no payoff. Is that even payoff? It's kind of like saying, well, nothing. Ain't gonna pay off nothing. And that ain't no good. What's all the irregular shapes of Hellstone? They're all like, ugh, it's not perfect squares and rectangles and parallelograms. And I like parallelograms, they're fun. I especially like parallel thingies, but 
You don't see those very often, especially in the worlds of mathematics. It all tends to be parallelograms, not parallel thingies. Oh man, I'm getting all the Bloom Jimins. I could say Benjamins, but I'm not American. It just feels wrong to use someone else's currency to express the fact that I'm obtaining a large amount of currency. I could use Scoozy, which is a standard currency unit. I I had a purpose for the Z all, but but I forgot what it was. But Scoozy's fun. Standard currency unit. If I ever make money, I will entirely express the money in standard currency units, the value of which is both non-consistent and non-explainable. Which means you will never know how much it is anyway. <laughs> because I'm an asshole, and I always will be. Will you please come and asshole with me? Wouldn't well, know how you do that, but sounds pretty fancy. Now, I wonder that those imps just went poofy poofy whenever you attack them. Instead of just sitting there going, Hey, how you doing? My name's Big Bob, and that's Killy Kel. Who the hell's Killy Kel? Is that guy? It's Killy Kel. I just said so. Oh. Well, thanks for teaching me that. God, this goes so slow. I'm getting annoyed. Hmm. <sighs> I think the reason that when it's hard mode you can mine this stuff with TNT is because you need this in order to actually start mining hard, more, or, or hard mode ores. So it would be incredibly unfair if you had no means to do so. I mean, the only thing you really need to get down here and start hard mode is a pickaxe to dig deep enough. Because once you're down here, all you need is to get that voodoo guy, you need to beat up the boss, and there you're done. You can do this with a fucking copper pickaxe, mind you. There are no... Yeah, you could do it. This is going rather easy, might I add. I hate your demon side attacks, they're so random. Dude, you could also use a water walking potion, by the way. You don't even need the obsidian skull then. You can just literally take an, a water walking potion and walk on lava. I don't know how your feet wouldn't wouldn't you know burn off, but whatever. It works for me. It works for you. And no, I will not elaborate the fact that my character had a sex change. Please, I'm not superficial. <laughs> I'm not judging on gender. Because that's mean. I think it's mean, at least. I can't tell you from an objective standpoint that it's mean, but I will say that I prefer not to. Because exclusion always leads to bad things. Well... Depends. If it's something that really needs excluding because it's fucking stupid, yeah. Exclude that shield until next Sunday. <sighs> Such a dweeb. Oh, dweeb, I just got new glasses. Oh, it's got new glasses. I think these things drop like half a block of hellstone. Or hellstone. <laughs> half a block of lava! Of hot liquid magma. Well, that's just spiffing. That wasn't worth it <laughs> at all. I kind of want to get a molten pickaxe. The thing about the molten pickaxe, though, it's kind of slow. 
You get a strong pickaxe, but it's slow. Obsidian skin. That'll work just fine. If I want to go underwater, that is. Which I don't. I don't want to go under the magma yet. You shouldn't do that unless you know what you're doing, because I don't think the potion lasts that long. You don't want to use such a rarity on something... Okay. So do you cure being on fire, or... Yes, you cure being on fire. That's kind of wacky. That's really wacky. <laughs> oh, you're on fire? Here's a bucket of water! But I don't want to be on water. Let's take some hellstone. Let's take some obsidian. Oh, yeah. Oh, I apparently have too much silver. Okay, so this is, uh... Obsidian, this is iridescent, and this is hellstone. <laughs> It used to cost a pickaxe, too. Iron. And a wacky. This is Elstone Brick. God damn it, I need like 35, don't I? Ugh. I know the music's all chopped up and weird. One can only assume how long it takes until Ricky Gervais starts showing up. <sighs> the answer, by the way, is not so long. I have a lot of these, but I have very little of these. It's kind of weird. Oh, four minutes. I thought it was shorter. But it wasn't. And so happiness returned to Teletubby Land. Mm, where did I do that? It's not used for anything, so I think I just throw that away. Unless it's reforged cheaper. So this is one. S yeah, it's much cheaper to reforge. Hmm. I'm gonna give you a shot, weak, weak lance. But you fail me, and I won't make you forget that mistake you made. Oh, damn. That paid off big time. Soul to the man in the blue hat. Five. Ooh, 11. That's a nice number. So where did these go? I know I had a bunch of them stored somewhere. I'm also getting increasingly annoyed by the amount of people here. Ah, whatever. My life would be so much easier if I just used a few more potions from time to time. If I scoff a gill and I'd scoff myself a nice, you know, obsidian skin, I'd be able to go down in lava and just chop, chop, chop away at those bricky bricks. At those bricky bricks. Mmm, they're so bricky. I'd almost call it Bricktacular. That doesn't make any sense, but I might as well. So how about we go to the right side of life today? Always look on the right side of life. 
Hint, it's not a single religion. But we thought that there was one simple answer to everything! Well, you're just a lazy fuck! Now, if anyone is smart enough to know why I just got upset, other than the fact that there's gonna be a lot more monsters in a moment, it has to do with the fact that Deathweed only blooms during a Blunt Moon, which means that this is a rare opportunity to get myself some Blunt Moons, some Deathweed seeds. Unfortunately for me, I have to be a giant fan of Deathweed. To a degree. Fine, I'll barricade the doors. Just don't bother me with them. God damn it. There you go. All 35, you get a fancy, dancy, very powerful sword. Pickaxe, it's pretty good, but pretty... Oh, it's, it's a little bit slower, but... And a hammock that will literally fuck up any tree's day. I thought it was... Where's that? I remember there being a tremendously slow pickaxe that was like, boom! I don't remember which one it is. Anyway, I need to go to the corruption and pick up some of those death weedy seeds. One thing they never did is that during the blood moon, this, the light isn't red. It's just the same moony color. At least I don't see any red changes. It might just be me. I mean, shouldn't ask me about those complex colors. Because I really couldn't help you though that much. I don't get that. Oh God damn it! What a lag! Ugh! The hell are you doing, computer? Better not be surfing for CPU. Jesus, man! Yeah, this does, does seem kind of reddish. You know the best way to prove something's red? It doesn't interact with blue. Oh God damn it! I don't have anything blue. Because you see, red is pretty much the opposite of uh, those colors. Yeah, that, that, that seems to match up with the typical profile, but this is purple. If it's correct, then this should be pretty dark. It's not that dark, but... Whatever. I, do, I just think it's a little bit redder. It might just be me. It might just be my imagination. It might be the backdrop sky that's just coloring it in for my mind, but... Whichever it is... Don't forget to pray to the Ant Queen, you little drones. <laughs> Ah, there's Deathweed. It glows a nice pretty purple. It's good. Actually, it should interact more with purple because purple is a combination of red and, yeah. The actual color I'm looking for is green. Everyone, the color I'm looking for is green. Which means that my Ivy Whip should be completely unusable in this situation. By the way, in case you're an idiot, Deathweed grows specifically on these blocks of Ebonstone. Jeez, man, I'm getting all the siege demons. Go away, I've got a lance. But damn, I'm trying to experiment here, and all you guys are doing is getting in my way. Annoying my butt. I only drop one seed, it seems. Jesus Christ, I keep... My bed just keeps shaking every time that these guys... They're doing construction work and it's like... Boom, boom, and my bed goes... Boom, boom, and it go like... Ee! 
Help me, help me! Mega Man, Mega Man! The giant earthquakes makes you shiver! Well, of course it does! That's a logical cause and effect! Oh. No, it's not red. If it was red, it wouldn't interact with green, because green is blue and yellow. It doesn't include any form of red, so naturally, green objects lacking the color that they uh, reflect. Because colors like this. Color is literally, it absorbs some colors, the others it just bounces away. It absorbs certain wavelengths. These cactuses should be pitch fucking black right now, because it's only red. And the only color that green objects reflect is green. So, yeah, it makes sense that they would be pitch black, because there's no color, green, that they can reflect back. I mean, it works in some situations. We've actually seen, in a plenty of cases, that my hair or specific parts of my armor would light up because of the color schedule. See, this is a nice, dark, glowy, and my eyes look so much darker now. Although my... Why is it glowing brighter? It shouldn't. I mean, it's red and orange. Well, actually, no, orange kind of works. Kinda. Actually, it shouldn't, because that's the complement of blue. It should make it pop out, but it should make it, you know, light up. Ah, the consequences of knowing too much physics. You know, people complain about fucking Just Cause being able to do this, but... WHY THE HELL ARE YOU OUT HERE?! Yeah, I kinda noticed. I wanted to put on a jungle rose, by the way. I can eat two gold, really? Oh, the tree's in the way, hmm. Oh, whatever, I don't want the my mask for now, I can wait another blood moon. God damn it, this is such an annoying job. I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for fun and adventure, not goddamn gardening. I think you can find that stuff pretty well down here, but I don't know if Darfweed grows this deep. Oh, it does. Good. I can just go down in these tunnels for a bit and I'll find myself all the seeds I'll ever need. So I'm going to cut the episode in a few split seconds. Probably going to mine some more hellstone. Excavate around my house a bit. And I'll see you guys next time. Like. Do whatever you want. Dislike it. Just go ape shit. Call me a liar. Do whatever you want. But don't forget. Get your ant drone assimilation kit today. So you too could be an arrogant hipsters when rubber ant drones take over the world with their evil queen, who has a terrible sense of style. Ah, hipsters, you're such assholes. But I did it before it was cool, that doesn't make you any better. Jeez, man! Just makes you an arrogant dick. Ha! I got you there, don't I, hipster? <laughs> but yeah, you should really buy that kit. Because you'll be fucked if you don't. I don't sell any, though. I haven't even opened mine. Ah, and the blood moon's over. Great. Whatever. I'll see you guys next time. And I'm not kidding.
I'm not kidding! Damn it, I wanted to press the. Uh. Well, call that a fail.